Now I want to do some more of these video blogs to help troubleshoot some of my problems and with my communication skills and, and hopefully they'll help um, with my expressing myself better and getting my ideas across to other people. Uh, that and with my uh, self-image to uh, get more comfortable in front of a camera and not be so self-confident, self self-conscious and uh, if I'm, that would help with, uh, with the way I communicate with other people. Well, the goal is to balance and harmonize whatever is present to the best degree that you can. So the more you can balance and harmonize what's already present in your own being, then the more you reduce suffering in your own case, and the more you can then interact with other human beings to help reduce their suffering, because basically you are as balanced and as whole as you can be at whatever stage or station in life you happen to be. So it's not, it, it, that's to say two things at once. On the one hand, it's a, a kind of finding an acceptance of yourself just as you are, and you can do that better if you're sort of in touch with more of yourself and not deceiving yourself or lying to yourself or hiding aspects of yourself. But on the one hand, it is to sort of accept and balance everything that's present in your own station of life right now. But it's also to hold open the possibility that there's higher and further growth. There are higher potentials. And you can also work to achieve those if that's what you choose. On even levels of development, uh, seems to be you know, uh, trying to advance in meditation uh, and growing through development that way is leaving, is having other stuff getting left behind because of the strain of uneven development. But in your own case, it's also to simply start befriending what you are whether you're at level one or level two or level three or level four and so on, there are things you can do exactly where you are that can make your own life as full and as complete as it can be at that station. And that includes getting in touch with all three of these great states of consciousness we talked about. There are practices for that. It can be various forms of therapy if you're interested in that to sort of contact parts of yourself that you might not have befriended. It's various forms of interpersonal relations, community service, any number of things that you can do to exercise all of the capacities in, in, in your own body mind. A lot of the psychotherapy you've been talking about is uh, leaving uh, parts of yourself behind and hidden through repression. And uh, the psychotherapy techniques is all about uh, taking subjective uh, things in your consciousness that you identify with and uh, bringing them out into the open so you can make them objects in your awareness. So, uh, you could uh, bring parts together and um, uh, integrate them at, as a whole on any level so that gives you a better foundation for growth in other levels. Because what you can do is you can get in touch with these three great states or realms, gross, subtle, and causal, through any sorts of, of practices. You can do any number of things to balance and, and harmonize your life at whatever level you're at. You can balance the quadrants no matter what level you're at. You can have access to the states no matter what level you're at. And that's all part of horizontal health. And that's really, really, really important because it's also the foundation of any vertical growth. You have to be sort of you have to have your act together where you are. Pull all of your stuff together where you are so you can start the climb, even if you want to decide you want to grow. So horizontal health, accepting yourself, befriending yourself, finding harmony and peace at whatever station you're at, that's a very important part of the package. Is that uh, mom was talking about what would bother me, and I was saying that uh, uh, I don't seem to be able to handle as a lot, the amount of stress that I used to. Like when I was working at Seagate or when I was in the Air Force, I can <coughs> handle incredible amounts of stress. But uh, now I don't seem to be, be able to handle any. And so I was thinking about 
when was the last time I was able to handle stress and when did I lose it? And it seems to be that um, last time was when I was uh, working at uh, BLC making the ballot machines and commuting 12 hours a day to Berkeley and back and still able to, to keep the job through all that stress. And after Creator died, you know, I, you know, totally fell apart. And, uh, it seems like I haven't, haven't recovered. I thought I'd gotten, uh, I thought I'd gotten over most of it, but apparently I haven't recovered from all of it because I'm still not able to deal with stress. Okay, and so I have to find out what left that I haven't recovered from.